Heart of palm is a vegetable that comes from certain species of palms. It doesn't grow on the plant the way fruits and vegetables usually do. Rather, it's the soft, edible inner core of the stems. Harvesting palm stems and then processing them to extract the heart is very labor-intensive, which is why this delicious vegetable is a delicacy. Life for this tropical vegetable begins in the farm's nursery, where they plant a palm seed in a pot of soil. After a couple of weeks, they transplant the seedling into a bag, and the seedling grows. Life in the nursery is one of routine. Scheduled feedings of fertilizer, regular weeding, and a daily shower. After about three months, that little seedling has matured into a plant that's strong enough to go into the field. Workers remove it from the bag gently, careful not to harm the roots. Then they plant it in loose soil. After about a year and a half of field growth, it's time for the first harvest. Using a machete, the harvester grabs and chops off the main stem. One of the remaining smaller stems will become the new main stem and be ready for harvesting in about six months' time. This cycle continues for about a decade. After cutting off the stem, the harvester strips the bark. This exposes a shell underneath that protects the palm heart, at the core of the stem, from damage and dehydration. Later, the factory will slice off this shell, like so, to extract the heart. Once the stems arrive at the factory, they go into a basin of water immediately. This prevents dehydration. Next, workers load them on a conveyor belt, lining the bases right up against the edge. Someone else, meanwhile, clicks a counter to tally the number of stems passing by. The conveyor belt transports the stems to a circular saw that slices off a portion of the base. Next, workers slide each stem across a razor-sharp blade, slicing open the shell that encases the heart. With a quick twist, the shell comes off and they place the heart on a conveyor above. Further down the line, the hearts run against another circular saw, which slices off what's left of the base. Next, a row of saws spaced 15 centimeters apart cuts each stem into pieces. Now the hearts of palm are just the right size for packaging. In the field, the stem's bark and outer shell acted as a dirt barrier. Still, the hearts get a rinse in cold water before going into the jar. Each jar has to contain a specific weight and number of pieces. So it goes on a scale, and if necessary, a worker adjusts the weight by swapping a piece for one of a different size. The jars now move on to a machine that fills them with brine, a special recipe of water, salt, and citric acid that acts as a preservative. The brine-filled jars then go into a hot steam machine. It heats the liquid for about 10 minutes, almost to the boiling point. This forces all the air out of the hearts, preparing them for pasteurization. On the way to the pasteurization chamber, the jars pass through a capping machine. Then, under an inkjet printer head, which applies the lot number and product expiration date. Now it's into the pasteurization chamber for an hour and a half. The intense heat, 97 degrees Celsius, kills off any microorganisms lurking inside the jars. After a one-week quarantine period, to ensure the hearts of palm don't deteriorate in any way, the jars are ready for labeling. The brine and pasteurization combined give the sealed container a four-year shelf life. So whether served alone, in a salad, with pasta or rice, these hearts of palm are guaranteed to be as fresh as they are tasty.